Hi guys, Brown here and welcome back to part 31 of my F1 2019 career mode here today for my home Grand Prix at the British Grand Prix. If you missed the last episode in Austria, do make sure you go and watch that before you see this one. And then once you've done that, come back here and carry on watching this. Um, but Silverson, I love this track. I mean, he doesn't love Silverson. He has a bit of everything. Um, but I do have some things to mention before we properly get into qualifying as you can see just a mess that happened at the start of this qualifying session is the, the Ferrari going through there um, one is I've turned the racing line off so um, hopefully I know I didn't really want to have to turn it back on when I turned it back on in back who I think it was last season um, but those first few races I think were a joke but I've done some practicing between that episode and this one and I did some laps in time trial where I set the best lap I possibly could on um, the Silverstone with um, the race line on and when I tried to beat it with the race line off I was only a tenth off um, over a lap so it really isn't that much over 26 laps I think the race distance is yeah maybe it's quite a lot but we'll see the only way to improve without the racing line is to of course race without it so from this episode onwards I'm going to be trying to not use it um so we're into qualifying let's get properly into the action so into qualifying this is our second run and we've made a f massive mistake and we're going to be starting 16th at our home Grand Prix you would have seen if you were watching the Delta we lost two temps in the final sector and those two temps would have got us through comfortably into Q2 but it's going to have to be a comeback drive yet again a bit like France but hopefully it does have a wind at the end just like France did let's get into it then just 30 points by how times have changed so let's see who can reach the top step of the modern podium today the 3.6 miles of the silverstone circuit in great britain is hallowed ground to the formula one faithful we have 18 corners that wrap around this former world war ii airbase and some good passing opportunities at the end of the drs zone Anthony Davidson, a very warm welcome to you as you join me in the commentary box for today's event. Let's talk about Brown. No grip penalties, no mitigating circumstances, just a poor qualifying performance and a very disappointing start position for them today. It's not a nice feeling, I promise you. They've got a quick car underneath them, but they've got onto the grid today and they need a pair of binoculars to see the start lights. They'll be desperate for a good start to make up for some of that deficit. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Charles Leclerc lines up on pole position and Max Verstappen lines up alongside. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Hamilton, Giovinazzi, Nico Hülkenberg and Grosjean, Gasly, Vettel, Weber and George Russell, Magnussen, Bottas, Devon Butler and Ricardo, Kubica, Brown, Lando Norris and Alexander Albon, Stroll and Sergio Perez completes our grid. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. So pretty much two by two at the front, it's a Ferrari 1-2 from the two Mercedes 3 and 4. In terms of strategy for us, we're going to be starting on the mediums and going to the soft. At the end, we're going to be putting a load of fuel in the car so we can push a little bit more. But let's get into the start of this Grand Prix. The lights are out and we're underway here at the British Grand Prix. And it's a great start by Charles Leclerc and the two Mercedes Vettel um, Verstappen. Nearly getting swamped there as we're heading through. We haven't really gained anything yet, but we're going to go for a lunge into village down the inside of multiple cars. And then we're going to try and do like a Light McQueen S move to then go down the inside of Devon Butler and the other Renault. But we're nearly wiped out um, a Williams and Daniel Ricciardo in the other Renault. Perhaps I have to have another look at that and see what happened there. I think it was Kibitza that I didn't really realise I was 
he was so far alongside of me but heading on to the rest of the lap then round Luffield for the first time we've got Devon Butler up ahead of us the Renault I think is actually one of the worst cars on the grid it's either that or the Toro Rosso as here comes Valtteri Bottas down our inside into Cops he can't get the move done but heading on to the hangar straight a couple of corners later here he comes again on the outside of us and he's going to try go to the outside of the stow we're kicking up some dust off the racing line and we do just about to stay ahead of him and here comes Lando Norris trying to get past it's Valtteri Bottas there and Bottas just does just about defend sorry if I'm commentating poorly this is the second time I've recorded this as in the background we've made a massive mistake as past goes Bottas, past goes Lando Norris and we've got a lot of work to do after that you can see as well well that's something I forgot to mention we have the helmet just for Silverstone we'll be going back to the other wood for Germany but you can see we lost two positions there to Bottas and Lando Norris but can we get back past Norris at least into Vale down the inside we do and now we can start hunting for Valtteri Bottas yet again of course he had, he had a bit of a mixed race in um, Austria he was second most of the race but he couldn't stay there in the end as down the inside we go on Kevin Magnussen and we'd nearly cause another pilot there honestly we are in Hulk mode today here at Silverstone but here you can see Magnussen we're up his inside and he just he just squeezes us as oh that was that could be very nasty but mindset in the moment he just squeezed me off the track and right up on the curb so I was like you know what you can have some of it back as we try and go to the inside of Butler at club and we couldn't do that and now we've lost out to Lando Norris you would have seen now we had to correct the slide after the contact and now we're going to go for the lunge to try and re-overtake Lando Norris and there's contact and we've spin spun round at village we've just about stopped ourselves going the whole way round but we're all the way down now in P20 this is the angle from Kibitza I think from that angle it looks like yes I've gone late but it looks like Norris has just turned in on us and not given us enough space and from my angle it looks the same that's my opinion but let me know what you think in the comments below as skipping on we've managed to catch the back of Danny Rick and now we're going to go down the inside of the Aussie into Cops you know what I would say that was a good move but it's literally the wooden spoon we're fighting for so yeah we'll just leave it at that as here we come round two against Kevin Magnussen and we've done him round the outside that's an incredible move all the way round the outside of Village it's a bit like what Leclerc did to Verstappen as here honestly I'm just gonna shut up and let you enjoy this because I honestly don't know how to commentate on this Vettel comes out on top and it's all kicking off there's Magnussen stays ahead Lando Norris is trying to get past um, Butler and it's all kicking off I, I, I don't really know what happened there to be honest it's just all going on as they head through to start the next lap as out of the pits of skipping on a fair few laps because just nothing happened I was just going round and round I had no pace on the medium compound tyres so they're coming out the pits and we're kind of gunning for them now as skipping on we're actually in the lead of the race briefly before Charles Leclerc catches us up and does overtake us to retake the lead I kind of wish that was full position and weren't just for we've been that slow and that horrendous this weekend that is just no point me fighting him it doesn't look like we're going to be able to keep the winning streak going as into the pits we come then to make our one and only stop onto the soft tyres and now out of the pits we come in some fresh air but now we've got to push there's a small battle going on just up the road between the Toro Rosso and the Williams of Robert Kubica 
So let's see if we can catch that fairly quickly and just see how many cars we can get through us. Here comes Valtteri Bottas down the inside of Hulkenberg and now he's been spun at Stove. What, what is going on there? Comes back onto the track and for some reason now the Toro Rosso and the Williams just decide to stop in the middle of the track so I was like thank you very much go for the lunge on both of them down the time to Vale and that's both of them done and now we can start pushing and get after the cars in front which I believe is Kevin Magnussen and so for a third time we're going to have to overtake him in this race as here comes Kibitza on I believe it's Alex Albon down the inside there that's a great move by Robert Kibitza here comes Valtteri Bottas though he's kind of Iron up a move to get past him as well and you can see here here comes Bottas tries to go to the outside or thought, thought about it at least as here he is on the inside down the inside he goes into cops that's a mega move by Valtteri Bottas and up next for him is Robert Kubica who he dispatches very quickly that alpha absolutely mighty in a straight line and now he's gunning for us is Valtteri Bottas in this race but as we skip on here we go on Kevin Magnussen for the third time this race round the outside we go on Kevin Magnussen and that's a pretty easy move and now here comes Fauci Bottas gets past Magnussen fairly quickly and now here comes Kibitza on Magnussen as well so Magnussen has been absolutely slaughtered there down at Brooklyn's and the straight of the Wellington straight but now yes again Bottas is catching us as here we go on Lance Stroll we're going to go down the inside and get a stroll there and I was just I was driving so angry if I was behind a car that they were getting out of the way no matter what I weren't I weren't having it I weren't just sitting there as here comes Stroll potentially trying to re-overtake us here so here he comes he goes to the inside of us and it down the hangar straight and down the inside he goes, you can see Bottas is caught us up here. We're going to have to defend to the outside and we do. And now Bottas is trying to get in on the act as he thinks about it to the outside of Lance Stroll. And now we just need to push whilst Bottas being held up by Stroll. But that doesn't go down too well as out of the race goes Lance Stroll. This is what happened to him coming out of the club. He just slows down so I'm guessing it was... Um, electrical, I don't know what he's doing, he's literally gone off the track to come back on it and then go off of it again these pay drivers eight, <laughs> I'm joking <laughs> here we come now, we're in a pretty heaty battle with Valtteri Bottas down the inside tries Bottas and now round the outside he tries again at Luffield and he can't get the job done and now he's going to have a run on us into cops he's gonna think about it we go very defensive to the inside we go back off her to take our racing line and Valtteri what have you done if he's put us in the wall down at cops we're in the barrier and he's wiped us out of the British Grand Prix on the last lap Valtteri mate what are you doing I just <laughs> I have no words. What? Just you can see the front wing. There, there is no front wing. Just what is he doing? We have a replay here. And what is he doing? At what point does he think that's a suitable gap to go for? I defended to the inside, pulled back over to the left to take my line, and he goes for it. Clips the back of our tire. This is it in real time. And yeah, that's just, God knows, this is it from the back of us and just, there was not a gap there. Oh. So, an absolutely chaotic ending to this Silverstone British, whatever you want to call it, Grand Prix. Um, this, we got, so we crawl ourselves out of the gravel, down at Cops, and now get overtaken by someone and the front wing's that bad we've gone completely off the track at Stowe went out into the fail you can see also the engine's pretty worn as well 
But to be honest, I'm not really bothered about that. We just have to defend Roman Grosjean. And we're going to come across the line to take P17 at our home Grand Prix. Maybe I shouldn't change my helmet. Because if, we, if I change it, we get bad luck. Oh my god. But Bottas in Germany, I'm coming for you. You think you can do that and get away with it? You're very much mistaken. Today. Well, this was a real team victory. They put together a solid strategy today that appeared well suited to the conditions out on track. The driver did everything that was expected of them in the moment to really execute the team's plan to perfection. A shining example of how F1 really is a team sport. Looking at the podium, you can see that red suit familiar to fans across the globe. A world-class win for a world-class team. Ferrari do it again. So that has been your this British Grand Prix, a Ferrari 1-2, the first weekend that's probably been dominated by Ferrari all season. Um, in the standings, we've gone down, we're 11 points now off um, the top after, we were actually briefly top after Austria, if you remember, in the instructors we're, we're down as well, 60 odd points behind. But, guys, I'm still in shock. Like, what What does he think he's doing? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. But, yeah, um, I don't think Emma's going to be pleased as well. What on earth was that performance? Come on, this isn't bumper cars at the fairground. Your results and conduct here matter, so pay more attention. We can't afford too many races like that. I don't think Emma saw what happened. Like, my opinion... I got, yeah, I went defensive to the inside, I then pulled back over to the left to take my racing line, and Bottas just fully, fully goes for it, clips our rear tyre, takes us out the race. Um, I don't even think um, someone driving a motorbike driver, racer, whatever, a motor GP would have thought of going for that. But hey, Bottas did, and look what happened, so Germany. I'm gunning for him. Doesn't matter where we qualify, it all that matters is he I'm not saying I'm gonna purposely wipe him out in Germany, but we're just going if we get into a heated battle, yeah he's gonna feel it. I ain't giving I ain't giving him room. You saw what I did to Magnussen, that's what we're doing to Bottas in Germany. Um but that's pretty much it for this video. A bit of a strange engine. Let me know what you think in the comments below was it my fault was it Bottas's fault um if you're enjoying this series and you want to see more then like subscribe and let me know down in the comments below what if you want to see anything other than career mode i'm thinking of maybe doing the second part of the classic academy for the next video um, and then after that will be Germany, but let me know what you think. Do you want to see Classic Academy or do you want to just see career mode and then we'll perhaps one day go back to the Classic Academy. Um, let me know down in the comments below, but like, subscribe and I'll see you in Germany where we have some unfinished business. Goodbye.